Let's make the drunken salmon pasta. Ingredients. Penne alla vodka was created in Rome in the 1980s. In this version, I add extra virgin olive oil, white onions and smoked salmon. Next, add vodka, which binds the oil and water into a perfect emulsion. Let's add some tomatoes and salt it. Now the heavy cream, penne in with a little pasta water, and it's just gorgeous, like Della Fuente. Spaghetti puttanesca, also known as the lady of the night spaghetti. Ingredients. Crunch your garlic, four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Let's make these anchovies into a paste. Add your anchovy, soft lightly, and add your black olive. For your capers, melt amazing. Tomato paste, bit of pasta water. Chop and add your tomatoes. Let's salt it. Let it go for 10 minutes. Spaghetti in and mix it. Just gorgeous. Mmm, just gorgeous. Ingredients. This red pesto is made with a fine balance of ingredients, just like you are. We start with basil and I use sun-dried tomatoes. So good. Garlic for the wow and peeled almonds for the mmm. Pecorino cheese and a scrunch of pepper and load it up with extra virgin olive oil. Blend it all together. Pesto should be thick and not watery. Add pasta water as needed and serve. Did you know that lemons can cook meat? Ingredients. Clean a base of salt, pepper and lemon. Lay thinly cap B, freshly squeezed lemon juice. After 20 minutes, add arugula salad. Salt it, scrunch of pepper, a drizzle of olive oil and finally, parmigiano shavings and whisper. I love it. Just gorgeous. Mmm, just Gorgeous. Ingredients. Fettuccine with lemon and zucchini is your perfect summer pasta. We soften up white onions in olive oil and slow cook the zucchini until tender, just like you are. Add salt and pepper for the pow. A little tip, use pasta water to make it saucy. The zest and juice of half a lemon and fresh mint leaves for the ah. Mix well while adding parmigiano and serve. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Ingredients. Pasta papalina was named after a Roman pope. Growing up near the Vatican, I loved this recipe. To start, season onions and mushrooms in extra virgin olive oil. Add salt, a scrunch of pepper and some peas and let it simmer. Add in prosciutto ham, heavy cream and a splash of tomato gives it a unique character, just like you are. I use rigatoni, a little pasta water and parmigiano for the mmm. Just gorgeous. Ingredients. I want to show you an old recipe with peas since they're in season. First, I stir fry white onions in extra virgin olive oil and then add green peas. A pinch of salt, a scrunch of pepper and some hot water. This is crazy good, just like you are. Remove most of your peas, blend and strain the cream into your pan. A little more hot water and take it to a boil, then add your uncooked pasta. It will slowly absorb all the sauce. Just keep adding a little water until the pasta is al dente. Finally, I'm going to whisk one egg, some pecorino and parmigiano, and mix it in for the last minute of cooking. Just gorgeous. Stuffed pasta shells are rich with flavor, just like you are. Ingredients. I made the sauce with onions, tomatoes, and olive oil. And then prepare the stuffing with equal parts of ricotta and mozzarella. Salt, add a scrunch of pepper, and mix it all in. Add your stuffing to pre-cooked shells. This pasta is called conchiglioni. Once it's beautiful, cover it in tomato sauce. Add some extra mozzarella and sprinkle parmigiano like fairy dust. Now bake at 390 for 25 minutes. Do you like pizza margherita? Then you're gonna like bruschetta margherita. Let's do it. Ingredients. Slice your loaf of bread horizontally. Now let's prepare the sauce. Smash some peeled tomatoes. Some salt, oregano oil, olive oil. Oven on at 375, stick them in a tray, put some olive oil on top. Grill for a few minutes. Make sure that you toast the bread beforehand because otherwise when you put the sauce on, it's gonna get all soggy. Baby, up. load them up with tomato sauce. Yes, baby. Mozzarella on, salt abundantly on top. Drizzle with olive oil, always. 
Some they look just like margaritas. Stick them in the oven for five to six minutes. Yes, baby. Like that basil, slice that. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Ingredients. This Italian chicken cutlet is pure love. Just like you are. Pound the chicken and cover both sides with all-purpose flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. One tip, fry it in butter instead of oil for a sweeter taste. Wait until the wooden spoon bubbles, then add your cutlets and cook until golden brown. Now for a real treat, cut up tomatoes, add extra virgin olive oil and salt. We're going to add arugula salad and our mix with salt, pepper, and all their juices. Guys, I made this amazing pear and cheese pasta in 10 minutes. Ingredients. Melt a stick of butter and grate a pear. Now throw your pasta in, add pasta water and a cup of heavy cream. Ooh, now the sweet gorgonzola cheese and let it melt. A pinch of salt and a scrunch of pepper. And now the pasta with a little more water. Add crushed walnuts and call it gorgeous. We're making a tomato sauce that does not need to be cooked. Ingredients. Slice the tomatoes and put them in. Add your olives, add the white onions, the colors of Italy. Add the parsley and oregano, capers in, garlic in, salt, scrunch of pepper. Cover it with extra virgin olive oil. We are ready. Cover it with a lid and keep it in your kitchen counter for 24 hours. It's been 24 hours, let's go and have a look at the sauce. We've collected all the sauce. Get that pasta in. Just gorgeous. Creating some tiramisu. Let's make one. Ingredients. Spanish grasso shots. Five egg yolks. 140 grams of sugar. In and whisk. Add three boxes of mascarpone. Whisk it. This is the right consistency for the cream. Four egg whites. Add a pinch of salt. Whisk it. Egg whites are done when you flip them upside down and they don't come out. Incorporate the egg whites to the egg yolk. Softly mix them together so not to lose the volume. Perfect. Now take some lady fingers, dip them in espresso shots, put them at the bottom. I'm only doing one layer, but it's good. Go crazy with that cocoa powder. Wow. Cover it with aluminum foil, stick in the seat for three hours. A little sprinkle. Some chocolate shavings. That's gorgeous. Let's make the most amazing lemon and orange risotto. Wow. Ingredients. Starting with olive oil, add white onions and the zest of a lemon and an orange. Next, toast your rice for a minute, then add a cup of white wine. And when the wine is cooked off, we add just enough stock to cover the rice. As the rice absorbs the stock, keep adding it until the rice is perfectly cooked. Salt to taste and finish it off by adding the juice of a lemon and orange. The rice is al dente. Now, for extra creaminess and flavor, add some butter and parmigiano. Just gorgeous. We're gonna make the easiest pasta recipe for beginners. Ingredients. Add extra virgin olive oil. Garlic in. The garlic is seasoning, let's add the tomatoes. Saucy. Now scrunch and squish. Salt abundantly. Now grab your basil and break it in with your hands. Just like this. It's bubbling. <laughs> Cook it for five minutes at a high flame and then the tomato sauce is done. Drain it al dente. The pasta hack. Put your spaghetti in the sauce, not the sauce on top of the spaghetti. Add a little bit of pasta water to make it creamier. Just gorgeous. Do you like garlic bread? This is how the Italians do it. Ingredients. Toast thick slices of Tuscan bread on both sides. Passionately wrap the garlic clove all over. Cover in extra virgin olive oil and salt it. Just gorgeous. Not gonna waste the bread. Let me show you the perfect recipe. Ingredients. Soak your dry old bread in water. Add extra virgin olive oil and salt. Scrunch some pepper. Add your tomatoes and sprinkle some onions. Cover in fresh oregano and tear up some basil. A little more salt and olive oil. Sit for 10 minutes and call it gorgeous. This is the most delicious meat sauce you'll ever make. Ingredients. First, extra virgin olive oil, then scrunch some garlic. Add carrots, celery, and white onions. Salt it. Add your ground beef, now make it tipsy. Some parsley, now the crushed tomatoes. See you in two hours. Ooh, so tender. Now use it for pasta or lasagna. 
Do you like cannoli? Let me show you how we do it in Italy. Ingredients. Sicilian cannolis are worth the time to make. Ricotta is the main ingredient and it's important to drain it in a cheesecloth, sometimes overnight. Go easy on the sugar, using about one quarter of the ricotta quantity. You want to taste the ricotta. I add a pinch of vanilla powder and throw in some chocolate chips for extra flair. I prefer dark chocolate. Then refrigerate for at least an hour. To keep the shell crunchy, fill them just before serving. Then add the classic toppings, chocolate, cocktail cherries and pistachios. Just gorgeous. If you were to ask my nonna for a mac and cheese, you'd be getting this. Italian mac and cheese bake. Ingredients. Nonna would first make a bechamel sauce using butter, flour, warm milk and a pinch of salt until creamy. Check my YouTube for full recipe. The first recorded mac and cheese dates back to 14th century Italy. Traditionally, they would use any cheeses available, but I prefer Parmigiano and Fontina cheese. The key is mixing it, adding more cheese and salt and a scrunch of pepper until it glows like the Roman goddess of mac and cheese. Oven bake at 390 for 20 minutes or until golden brown. And there you have it, just gorgeous. When life gives you lemons, let's make it into spaghetti. Ingredients. Add garlic to some melted butter. Now the olive oil. Next, add the zest and juice of a lemon. Add some heavy cream, salt it, spaghetti in. A little pasta water mixed with the passion of an Italian. Just gorgeous. Wars have been started over this recipe. Let's make it right. Carbonara. Ingredients. The people say that pasta carbonara was created after the name of an old secret Italian society called Carbonari. In this old recipe, the pecorino cheese and egg sauce with a scrunch of pepper is famously blended together. Fried pork, called guanciale, releases fats, which soak into the sauce. Bacon is often used as a substitute. Add the cheese and egg sauce at the end and mix it away from direct heat. The hot pasta will cook the egg into a cream, but not scramble it. Today, we eat it from the pan. Just gorgeous.